Hey Jags, welcome to this week's Jag TV. I'm Alyssa Corbin. And I'm Garen Dudley. South played a role of saving lives this Christmas season. Let's go to Molly Howe to see how it went. Thanks, Garen. Last Thursday, we had our 17th annual blood drive here at South, hosted by DECA. During the holidays, blood donations are low due to regular donors being too busy to donate. We had 131 students sign up to donate. That helped us get more than 100 units of blood. Thank you to the students who donated. And also, thank you to the teachers for being cooperative. I'm Molly Howd for JAG TV. Back to you. Thanks, Molly. Chamber Choir does extraordinary things for the community, and last week we got to give back to them. With more, here's Devin Kane. Blue Spring South Chamber Choir entered the 99.7 The Point Christmas Contest. This is a $5,000 contest. The money will go to the school's music program. Blue Spring South was one of eight choirs to be chosen to be in the final contest. We are actually, we made it past the first round, and we are uh, in the semifinals right now. And uh, so you can listen to 99.7 The Point and text in and help us to win. Uh, we are on today uh, when you'll be seeing this, and hopefully we'll make it past this next round, and you can help us uh, win the whole thing. Thanks a lot. Come on, Jags, and listen and vote for our chamber choir and help our school out. I am Devin Kane reporting for JAG TV. Thank you, Dr. Dow. It's nice to see our Jaguar staff being recognized. Now let's go to Jessica Kennedy to hear more about how we gave back this year. Hey, Jags, let me tell you how you helped out 25 unfortunate families experience what really was a Christmas miracle. Last week was the end of Adopt a Family. It was a huge success. All of our donations were able to help out over a hundred people have a great holiday. We ended up being able to help out families that signed up at the last minute. So we got to help out even more people this year. Along with giving these families presents, we were able to provide them money to give them a great dinner on Christmas night. So as you can see, this was a very successful adoptive family. Senate would like to thank all who helped out and made this possible. Good job, Jags. Jessica Kennedy for Jag TV. Back to you. This website has been a nice convenience to our parents. And now you have a chance to get connected also. With more, here's Garrett Tobin. Parent Portal was a great way for your parents to check up on your grades. Now it's accessible for students. You know, it's my understanding we had some requests from students wanting to be able to see their grades and access their, their grades through Parent Portal. It allows us uh, a chance for the teachers to get the stuff entered and, and kids to instantaneously find their results. Uh, maybe they took a test that day and they want to know how they did. They could uh, go on Parent Portal and find that out. Um, it opens the line of communications between parents and students. They can discuss the grades that they saw on Parent Portal. So we think it will be beneficial to everybody involved. Step one, walk to the nearest computer. Step two, put your username, which is MO, and your lunch code. Step three, type your password, which is your birthday, consisting of backslashes. Be sure to sign up on Parent Portal to check on your current progress. I'm Garrett Tobin, reporting for JAG TV. Back to you. Thank you, Garrett. What a great way to keep up with your workload for school. Reporting for South in the Community, you're watching JAG TV. Hi Jags, Matt Mitchell here at Culver's. I know you're looking for that perfect holiday gift for everyone on your list. We've got that for you right here at Culver's. The reloadable gift card, perfect for anybody on your list. You can get it in any denomination, but if you buy it for $25 or more, you get a free value basket here at Culver's. This one you get to keep. You could use it for a gift. You're probably going to want to keep that for yourself. So anything on the menu, folks. The Culver's Reloadable gift card works for everything we have. It spends just like money. There's got to be someone on your list that's going to want one of those. Have a great holiday.
This holiday season, Lunar Bowl is spreading good cheer just for you and your family. Come spend family fun on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And don't forget the Lunar Bowl gift card. Purchase a $100 gift card. Receive a $20 gift card for free. Special deals and prices now through the holiday season. Just go to their website, LunarBowl.com, and get all the details. Like no place on earth, Lunar Bowl, North Highway 7, Blue Springs. Hi Jags, we're here in Mrs. Sheridan's class to celebrate an award received by one of our staff members. We're here with Mrs. Angie Barba, one of our interpreters, who received the Jaguar Excellence Award for the month of November. And Angie was selected uh, because of some nominations of some of her colleagues. And Mrs. Sheridan, Mrs. Thaller is here today to share with you why uh, Mrs. Barba was selected as our Jaguar Excellence Award winner for November. Mrs. Sheridan. We're so pleased to, um, to be able to nominate uh, Angie for this award. She's a wonderful part of our class. She reads the books before we read them so that she can help interpret um, for Stephen and all of the other teachers um, for whom she interprets in their classes said the same thing, that she's a, a positive member of the class and uh, a good role model and really takes her job seriously and she's very professional. She's definitely a little ray of sunshine, and all the teachers enjoy her as well as the uh, students. She helps not only our deaf uh, population, but also our reg ed. So um, there's no one more deserving than Angie for this award. It says, Jaguar Excellence Award, educators have a unique opportunity to influence students one relationship at a time. And we certainly believe that Mrs. Barba works hard to make a difference for the students at Blue Spring South High School. Uh, this is our traveling trophy. And uh, uh, each month, that the person that wins the award accepts this for for that month it moves on to the next person and quite honestly at the end of the year usually our teacher of the year and we retire this trophy to that individual so uh, please display this someplace really proudly for the next month so I want to watch you hold that <laughs> that's crazy heavy <laughs> thank you so much I this this means a lot it really does thank you Back to you guys in the studio. Hey Jaguars, last weekend both the boys and girls basketball teams finished well in the annual McDonald's tournament. The girls tournament was held at Blue Springs while the boys tournament was hosted here. The girls placed third overall in the tournament, beating Pleasant Hill in their final game. The boys team won the whole tournament, their first time since 2002. Garrett talked to Corey Kilgore about the team's great accomplishment. It was a great win for us and for Coach Kane. This is not our ultimate goal, winning this tournament, but it is a huge step for us. The Jags started off the tournament by dismantling Schlegel on last Tuesday night and then tearing through Truman last Thursday. The team then went on to play Rockhurst in the championship. The game went extremely well and the Jaguars won 75-57. to they shot over 50% as a team, with Justin Pitts and Kevin Perrier leading the team, both scoring 21 points each. Andrew Wright and Carl Martin also added to the madness, scoring 13 and 12 points respectively. The basketball team travels to Branson tomorrow to play Glendale, and play next Thursday against Rockbridge. The wrestling team has a tournament this weekend at Raytown South, competing against eight other teams. And finally, there's a girls basketball game next Thursday at home against Ruskin. That's all for sports. I'm Paul Provence for JAG TV. Thanks, Paul. Let's go into some reminders. The Winter Band Concert will be December 17th at 7.30 in the PAC. Regarding finals, Thursday will only have hours 2, 4, 5, and 6. And Friday will have hours 1, 3, 5, and 7. And the last day of the semester is December 21st. That'll be all for reminders. Garen? Thank you, Alyssa. Now, with this unpredictable weather, we have a way of letting you know about last-minute school changes. We have Tyler Mazel to help you out. Hey Jags, I know it's getting cold outside, and a lot of you probably want to know when school's going to be canceled. Jag Alerts can help. If you haven't paid attention to our past tutorials, go to jagnewsonline.com. Scroll till you find Jag Alerts, and put your name, phone number, and select the things you want. It's not that hard. Signing up can get you news about all the events you would like to know about, and find out when you get a day off. There you have it Jags, I'm Tyler Mizell reporting for Jag TV.
back to you. Thanks, Tyler. All the teachers of South had a jolly time wearing the wackiest Christmas sweaters. And as you can see, they did a great job showing their Christmas spirit. Good job, staff members. Now let us enlighten you on a way to get into the Christmas spirit. Let's go to Chris Epler with more details. What's up, students of Blue Springs South? With Christmas coming up, the holiday spirit is among us, along with spending time with family and friends, getting presents, eating food, and having fun. What is one of the best parts about Christmas? It is most definitely the Christmas lights. They're bright, colorful, extravagant, radiant. There's white ones, green ones, red ones, blue ones, and even ones that flash different colors. With everyone putting up by their houses, decorating their office spaces, and putting them on their trees. But if you don't have the time to put them up, or you don't have any money to buy them, you can always go to the local Chicago Lights right here in Blue Springs. Let's see what people have to say about them this year. During the Christmas season, the Chicago streetlights have become an annual thing for people to drive their cars through with friends and family. This beautiful display has quite the history. It was started by Steve Steiner 30 years ago from a creative angel display in his tree. I uh, made an angel and put him up in a tree and I thought, why, why can't I make this angel do something different, like look like it flaps its wings, so got to thinking about it and being an electrician, I said two sets of wings and make them alternate and the relay box was huge and, and uh, but I put that up there in the tree and it, the angel looked like it's flapping its wings and uh, uh, I'd, I'd be in the house and I'd hear these cars stop and squeal like they were and then they'd back up and look at and point at that angel and I said, aha, uh -huh, animation is the key. That's, uh, that's the, how it got started. With the amount of lights I saw, I asked about the time that was put into the display. Me and another guy started a few days before uh, Halloween and spent about two and a half weeks going through every figure. There's like a couple hundred of these figures. So it's about a three and a half week project for me. Uh, when I first started the display, it, it uh, is started costing me a little money, you know, out of my pocket to do it, and uh, like a couple thousand dollars a year, and I thought, maybe I ought to just put a donation box, and if I get anything in there to help, help out with expenses, that'd be great, you know. Different groups every night volunteer to collect the donations. The money is split equally to 24 charities. Uh, the first year we got $17,000 donated and I said, man, what am I, I don't need all this money. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? So I started giving it to charities. So like tonight, Timothy Lutheran School is, is out here tonight. You know, that's their night to work and uh, tomorrow night there's a different charity. So I think it's a church or something. So The lights will continue to be on display until December 31st. For more information, visit jagnewsonline.com. Hey Jaguars, it's Tanya Busker with special events and dance and treads and threads in downtown Blue Springs. If you got a Christmas list, come and see us. Remember us when you're on your holiday break. We've got the usual purses, jewelry, scarves, hats, all kinds of new stuff that we brought back for market. Um, LA Idol bling jeans. We've got belts loaded with rhinestones, shirts that could be made to go with all of that. Also, remember that if you're a dancer, a cheerleader, or any of that, we still have our dance store downstairs. It is loaded with all your dance apparel, shoes, etc. So think about us, clear through the holidays, and I hope Santa's good to you. Welcome back. To help you out with your present giving, let's go to our friend Jenny Jaguar.
So you want to give everybody a Christmas present, but you don't have the money to buy anything. All else fails, just make a present. Not sure about what to make? Here are some ideas. For moms and grandmas, and maybe sisters, they really love when someone makes a picture for them, or a little craft, such as paper flowers or a little ornament. Dads and grandpas, and probably brothers, might like it if you were to burn a CD of their favorite movie or music. Guys, your girlfriend would be more than happy if you were to make some beaded bracelets or necklaces. And if you want to make it seem cuter, make your own to match. But don't be too embarrassed to wear it out in public. You could even write a song or some poetry for them. Ladies, let's face it, everyone knows that the quickest way to a guy's heart is through his stomach, so go ahead and make your boyfriend some of their favorite sweets. It might not seem like much, but a lot of the time something made by a loved one or family member has more sentimental value than anything that can be bought at a store. Happy Holidays, everybody! Welcome to this week's episode of Holiday Cooking. We're going to show you how to make a really easy cupcake for friends and family. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need. A cupcake, a bottle of whipped cream, strawberry, and a knife. Make a list, he's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping And he knows when you're awake He knows if you've been bad or good So be good for goodness sake You better watch out You better not cry And that's how you make an awesome holiday treat. This has been Holiday Cooking with Bailey Carson and Olivia Lucas. Santa Claus is coming to town Thanks, Bailey and Olivia. Those cupcakes look great. We would like to thank you all for watching Drag TV on 1818 Universe 99 and Comcast 15. Have a great day.